Hey guys, welcome to AWS Made Easy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an S3 bucket using Python. Okay, so to do that, we are going to use the Boto 3 module, which is uh, AWS SDK for Python. So basically, you can use Boto 3 if you want to uh, write your applications on AWS using Python. Okay, so Boto 3 is very useful if you want to interact with AWS using Python and you want to write your AWS applications using Python. Okay, so we'll learn more about Boto 3 as we go along. So now let's get started and see how to create an S3 bucket using Python. Okay, so first let's look at the prerequisites. Okay, so if you want to run this code in your local machine, the Python code in your local machine, you need to have AWS CLI installed on your machine. Okay, so once you have installed the AWS CLI, you need to configure uh, the IAM user in the in your machine. So I assume that you have the Python installed in your machine because you are basically running the Python code. Okay, so now let's see how to install. Uh, it's I'll just quickly uh, walk you through how to install the CLI and IAM user, and then we'll write a program to create our S3 bucket. Okay, uh, I have opened my command prompt. In the command prompt to install your AWS CLI, you just uh, type in this command pip install AWS CLI and hit enter. So it will start downloading. Uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, I made a small mistake. There is no hyphen there. You just need to type in AWS CLI. Okay, so pip install AWS CLI and hit enter. So if you see now, uh, I mean, I have already installed the AWS CLI on my machine. So it is telling me that requirement already satisfied. Now, if you don't have a CLI, it will basically download and install AWS CLI in your machine. So once AWS CLI is installed, let's configure an IAM user. Okay, to do that, uh, I'll create an IAM user and I will grant all the permissions admin basically admin access and if you want you can limit the permissions that you are granting okay in the IAM click on user here we'll cr uh, create an uh, user click on add user and username you can give anything like dev user one two three whatever okay and I am going to give only programmatic access to this user not the console access and click permissions and okay so this is basically the groups that i have if you don't have any groups you can click on create group here and group name you can give something like api users and i'm gonna i'm just gonna grant administrator access to this user and click on create group Okay, so now the API users group is created and this user is added to this group. Click on next and tags are optional. Click on next and click on create user. Okay, so now the user is created. These two things are very important, the access key ID and the secret access key when we are trying to configure the IAM user on our machine. So let's go back to this, uh, I mean, uh, command prompt and type in the command AWS configure and click enter. So now it is asking for AWS access key IDs. I have already typed in that I will save that layer. So if you have not saved it earlier, you can basically copy the access key ID from the console. Okay, you can basically copy this access key ID and paste it there. And once you have done that, hit enter and it will ask for the secret access key. So in the secret access key, again, you can copy the secret access key from here. I'm not going to show that. You can copy that from here and paste it here and then click on enter default region name. You can specify the de default region name that you want and then click enter the default output format is JSON and then click enter. So now the IAM user is configured and you are ready to use uh, AWS CLI in your machine. So that's it. Uh, the requirements that we need to have now. Let's get uh, started and write the program that creates an S3 bucket for us using Python. Okay, I am using PyCharm uh, to uh, I mean run my Python code. You can basically if you don't want to use uh, PyCharm, you can basically run using I mean the Python command also directly. So yeah, uh, in this project, I am gonna install the Boto3 module. Okay. Uh, the Boto3 module, like I told earlier, is the AWS SDK uh, software development kit for Python. Okay, 
so uh, click on file here i am going to install boto3 uh, just for this project you can even install it globally okay click on file here and click on settings okay so once you click on settings you should be able to see this i have already installed boto3 for this project if you want to install it click on plus here uh, and search for boto3 and if you search for boto3 this first one so boto3 the first result it you can see here that the description is it's an AWS SDK for Python. You can select that and click on install package here. I have already installed it, uh, so it doesn't matter. So you can just install this Boto3 and we are good to uh, start writing our code. Okay. Okay, so now let's start writing our code. So I'm going to import Boto3 here and then I'm going to create an S3 client. Okay, S3 client is Boto3.client S3. Okay, so this is how you create an S3 client uh, using this Boto3. So this basically gives an object oriented kind of access to our S3. So we can call any uh, many methods that are uh, on S3 using this S3 client. Let me just uh, quickly show you the documentation of uh, S3 Boto3. So yeah, if you see here, this is the Boto3 documentation for S3. Okay, so it's very detailed documentation. You can always refer to this uh, if uh, I mean if you are struck using this API. So I'm going to click on this client and I'm going to see what are the methods available for the uh, S3 client. If you see here, there are a lot of methods available like copy, copy object, create bucket, and we're gonna go, we're going to explore uh, most of these uh, methods in this uh, series of tutorials. So now what uh, we require is we need to use this create bucket method of S3 client. Click on the create bucket. It has the description like it creates a new bucket. And if you see here, you will also have the request uh, syntax. Okay, so this is how you need to uh, write. Uh, I mean, these are the parameters that you need to pass to this uh, create bucket method. Okay, so I'm gonna know I'm not gonna specify all these parameters and I'm just gonna mm, like uh, uh give the acl and the bucket name and rest all uh, I'll, i'm gonna just leave as it is okay so let's uh just copy this uh request syntax as it is okay and i'm gonna paste this in my pycharm okay and since i have named it as s3 client i'm gonna change that so i'm going to keep this bucket as private so I'll remove this. Okay, so this is the bucket name that you have to specify. Uh, I'm going to say like uh, something. It just need to be unique. Uh, okay, so I hope this bucket doesn't exist. And create bucket configuration location constraint. If you don't uh, specify uh, any region here, it will be created in the North Virginia region. So I'm gonna remove all these uh, parameters and. Just create a bucket, private bucket with this bucket name called my bucket. Uh, before I run this, I'm going to take you to my S3 console and show you what are the buckets present there. Okay. Okay, so these are the only two buckets that are present in my account. And after I run my, I run my code, I'm going to come back here and uh, verify if that bucket is created. Okay, so now let's uh, run this code. Uh, okay, before I run that, let me just also try to print the response okay yep so let me run this code okay so if you see uh, my code uh, finished with exit code zero so it means it succeeded and i printed the response so basically this is the response i have uh, like response data request what is the request id host id HTTP status code so 200 it means that the request was successful and all the details like uh, you know the date location if you see the bucket name okay so we are not going to uh, going to deep into that response let's go to my s3 console and see if that bucket is created i'm gonna hit a refresh here and if you see here my bucket uh, 7978 uh, whatever I specified has been created and since I did not specify the region it uh, by default it was uh, created in the North Virginia region so uh, that's it guys I mean that's how you use a uh, Boto3 
to create an S3 bucket basically. So Boto3 is very important module uh, instant, uh, like for Python developers who are going to write other applications in AWS using Python. So in the upcoming, I mean, in the series of tutorials, we are going to explore more about Boto3 and we will explore more methods of uh, S3 and we will try to do different things like uh, you know, uploading files and deleting files and copying and yeah, we'll try to explore all the methods uh, that are available on the S3. Uh, using Boto 3. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you understood and if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.